when you think about innate ability and versus experiences, many of us think again that, that some, some people just have it and it's inborn. And so if you think back, if you've ever seen the, the movie about Mozart called Amadeus, uh, the whole movie is built around the idea that Mozart uh, was just gifted and didn't have to work at it. Uh, indeed, it just came through God into Mozart's head right onto the pen, and he just wrote, he never revised, he never, you know, all this kind of stuff. It's interesting that the research shows that that's just not a viable explanation. Mozart started composing at a very young age, at the preschool age. But when you look at what he produced that time, most people would say, it's totally unexceptional. There's nothing there anybody would want to listen to. But he had hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of hours of practice by his teenage years where he started producing stuff that impressed people. And then for the rest of his unfortunately short life was a brilliant composer. But it was because he had the opportunities, people that worked with him, opportunities to practice encouragement, an environment that encouraged that kind of stuff. It's not dissimilar with mathematics. We would have many more musicians and many more mathematicians if we understood that it's not just a few gifted individuals that can do mathematics. Everybody can do mathematics. If we provide them with the educational experiences and the encouragement and the varied kind of exposure to different areas of mathematics, not goodness knows, you know, just writing down long sums. A hundred years ago, that was valuable. It's not valuable mathematics anymore. It's a little piece of mathematics, but it's not all of mathematics and should, should never have been, but certainly isn't in this day and age. That, that it's those experiences that kids get over a long term that lead to kids getting good at mathematics, and skill usually precedes affect. In other words, no, getting the knowledge and getting the skill will lead to kids who like doing mathematics. Um, it's not that kids have to love it at the beginning. Uh, we try to make it as interesting to kids as possible, but we also just need to keep it up with all children to give them the kind of experiences and opportunities to learn mathematics so that they will indeed come to love it as others do.